Hello learners, this is Sam from Type This Calling and in this session of the video we are going to talk about the classification of lipids. We're not going to talk about lipids at first, we're going to move towards the direct towards the classification but for the for understanding what are lipids you have to watch my other video but for the classification we're going to talk about specifically about uh, this one. Alright so let's get started. The lipids are actually divided into the four groups that is simple lipids, compound lipids, drive lipids and the final phase we got miscellaneous so it's really easy to understand grab the idea just focus on how i'm just going to classify them easily the simple lipids are actually divided into the neutral fats and vexes compound lipids are divided into five groups that is fossil lipids glycolipids sulfolipids amino lipids and lipoproteins very simple and easy to understand but the dry lipids which are actually derived from these are fatty acids alcohols and monoglycerides pretty easy to understand concept and in the case of the miscellaneous we got the which are aliphatic hydrocarbon which contain different things we're just going to talk in the final phase about them so let's get started with the simple lipids so what are simple lipids so simple lipids are actually the esters of fatty acids with various alcohol it's it's an easy concept you know whenever we talk about simple lipids we understand we have the idea of esters of fatty acids with alcohol so simple lipid is also is also an uh, ester of fatty acid with alcohol so we divided that one into the two groups that is neutral fats and the vaccine so neutral fat is also called the triglyceride commonly it's referred as triglyceride which is actually uh, found in a lot of places here in your membranes so uh, this is actually the triester of fatty acid with glycerol that's why we call we're going to call it the triglycerol or you can simply call it the neutral fats and again now move toward the other vaccines most of the people have heard of vaccines which the vaccine itself is further divided into two vaccines cholesterol uh, two vaccines cholesterol esters and vitamin d esters so the true vexes, which are actually the esters of higher fatty acids, remember this one, esters of higher fatty acids with acetyl alcohol or higher chain alcohol. Now move toward the cholesterol, easy to grab the idea, which are actually esters of fatty acids with what? With cholesterol, easy to grab the idea. And coming to the vitamin A and D esters, which are actually the palmitic for the vitamin A ester and steric acid for the vitamin D ester. Not, not a big deal with uh, regarding the simple uh, lipids, moving toward the compound lipids. So compound lipids uh, are actually uh, lipids with uh, something else, you know, something added, added to them. So you can call them the esters of fatty acids uh, containing groups other than and in addition to the alcohol and fatty acids. All right, well, let's just move towards the fatty acid uh, phospholipids and talk about them. So they are actually the substitute fats containing uh, an addition to fatty acids and glycerol uh, phosphoric acid. Remember this one. They contain nitrogenous base oil and substitutes. Some examples if you want to talk about, we have the phosphatidylcholine, we have, uh, we have the uh, uh, phosphatidyl uh, ethanol amine, we have the phosphatidyl serine and the plasmalogens and these are the same, same examples of the phospholipids now let's move to the glycolipids which actually is the uh, there are actually you can say two types of the glycolipids that is the cerebrocytes and the gangliocytes we're not going to talk about the cerebrocytes and the gangliocyte we're just going to refer, talk about the glycolipids so what are glycolipids so you understand by the idea you have heard about the glyco glycogen uh, don't go there but it's actually carbohydrate with lipid so we how we can going to define it is lipids containing carbohydrate and are called glycolipids so they actually and one thing more they have a special alcohol which is called the sphingosine or sphingol and also also they have the nitrogenous base in addition to uh, these fats the fatty acid but they do not contain the phosphoric acid or glycerol actually they contain the alcohol which is a special one that one is called sphingol all right, a uh, simple idea about the sulfolipids contain the uh, sulfate group and the amylolipids, which are also called the proteolipids, and the lipoprotein uh, are easy to grab. That is the lipids as a prosthetic group to proteins. This is all about the compound lipids. Now let's talk about the drive lipids. So I have already told you what is drive lipids. Drive lipids are those lipids which are actually uh, 
which are actually dried from these ones. So uh, when we break down or just uh, disintegrate them or just boil them, we get these lipids. So these are the fatty acids. I mean, I don't know why they call it dried lipids, but these are dried and they are, they are example are the fatty acids, alcohols and monoglyceride. So the fatty acids, you know, uh, when we, you know, when the fatty acids, when, you know, we may get the, the saturated fatty acids, the unsaturated fatty acids, or maybe the cyclic one. And in the case of the monoglyceride, we might get the monoglyceride and the diglyceride uh, and when, when actually they are dried. So the, uh, what does we mean by the uh, dried lipids? So actually they are the derivatives obtained by these two groups on hydrolysis. You know, when we hydro hydrolyze any of the uh, lipids from these groups, we get the, the following, following products. And let's talk about the alcohol, which actually uh, maybe it could be a straight chain, it could be uh, a glycerol, it could be a cholesterol, and it could be uh, it could be alcohol containing the beta ionine ring. All right, this is all about the drive lipids, which are actually brought from these from the hydroly hydrolysis. And I'll move to the miscellaneous. So miscellaneous are actually the aliphatic hydrocarbons which include isooctadecane, which is actually found in the liver, uh, liver fat. We also have some of other carotenoids and the squalene, which is actually the squalene, which is actually found in the shark, the mammalian liver, and human sebum, which is actually which is actually the uh, human sebum, which is the sebaceous gland, you know, which is uh, the uh, the sebum which is found in the sebaceous gland, and the squalene is found in the human sebum, which is actually the fat, and also it is found in the vitamin E and K. So this is all about about the uh, classification of lipids. Very easy to understand. Simple compound uh, drive miscellaneous simple compound drive miscellaneous simple we got neutral and uh, neutral fats and waxes compound we got phospholipids glycol sulfo amino lipoprotein drive we got fatty acid alcohol and monoglycerides miscellaneous is very easy you know we have to understand these basic idea so this is was very much easy to understand and grab the idea please make sure to comment us and let us know if you want to learn more about any topic so we can make sure that we can explain it very easy thanks for visiting tags is calling